This video is brought to you by Ageless Geeks. Kawabunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka Batbomb82, and today I'll be doing a review of the Mezco 112 Collective Black Panther. Now, taking a look at the front, we can see that the figure showcase in your standard 112 box with this awesome Wakanda motif and the Black Panther emblem at the center. Turning the box around, we can see multiple images of the figure in multiple posing positions with his different interchangeable parts and accessories. So with the box out of the way, let's crack this figure open and see what we have inside. And here is the Academy Award winning Black Panther out of the box. And man, I think this is a pretty good figure. It's by no means a great figure like I'm used to from Mezco, but it's still pretty decent for what you get here. It has great sculpt and paint, awesome accessories, and really nice soft goods. I just wish it had a little more of a wow factor, but overall, it's still a really cool piece. But before we take a closer look at the figure, let's take a look at the accessories. So Black Panther does come with a good amount of accessories. Starting off, he comes with a ceremonial shield and dagger, two interchangeable heads, and eight interchangeable hands. And lastly, we also get a circular base stand with a Black Panther emblem printed atop. He also comes with a clear articulated arm that articulates at four points with the clip. So with the accessories out of the way, let's take a closer look at Black Panther. All right, guys, now let's take a closer look at Black Panther here. So I'm really excited to check this out because I actually don't have any Black Panther figures in my collection. I don't really collect a whole lot of Marvel Legends and whatnot, uh, and I've just been waiting for something good to really catch my eye. And of course, when Mezco announced theirs, I was like, yes, I finally get to own a Black Panther in my collection. So I picked it up, and let's see if it's any good. So what we get here is really, really nice. I love the aesthetics of this period. It's real simple, yet very detailed. Uh, it just looks like a simple black and whatnot with silver uh, bits and whatnot, but the fabric they used is gorgeous. Uh, it is really thick and thicker than I, I guess I'm normally used to when it comes to a Mezco figure, uh, so that it's it's different. I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm not saying it's great. Uh, it is different in my opinion. It, does, it doesn't feel as spandexy, if that's even a word, uh, than what I'm used to or, or thinner than I'm used to, you know, and whatnot. Uh, so, uh, it's kind of weird to explain, but you, you, you'd you feel what I, you know what I mean once you feel it in hand. But the lining of the entire suit just looks really cool with all that texture and whatnot and that pattern within the actual material just looks really, really rad. You can even see it on the arm there. All looks really, really nice. All the DC going on through the back and whatnot. And it's crazy how they print this like lining throughout the entire suit. On a lot of their figures, it's really interesting, uh, and I really, really like it. It's just really cool. But the detail and the sculpt of the gloves and whatnot, with all the silver uh, pay, uh, paint apps, all came out really clean. Nothing sloppy about them whatsoever. Same thing with the boots. You see, he has his claws right there. What I really like is even at the bottom of the tread of the feet, you can see like they sculpted some patterns in it, some tribal markings and whatnot. I think that's rad. I think they do such good work when it comes to stuff like that. So very, very cool. Aesthetically, I think this guy's awesome. Again, really simple, at the same time, really detailed, so very cool. So we do get some interchangeable parts here, so we do get some interchangeable hands, so we get a set of close-fisted hands with one kind of package in the box. We do get a set of gripping hands uh, for holding his multiple weapons. We also do get these more like claw-like hands for like claw attacks and things like that that look really, really nice. And then we get these more open palm hands for like stylized posing and things like such. So very, very nice. Uh, we also do get these weapons right here, which is pretty interesting that we even got these like ceremonial weapons uh, since he really doesn't use these as the Black Panther. You know what I mean? Uh, I kind of understand why they gave us these because, you know, since Black Panther doesn't really use any weapons or gadgets and things like that uh, in the film, 
uh, they wanted to throw us something, you know what I mean, to, I guess, make it worth that cost of, like, the $80 price range. So they gave us these weapons, and it's cool. They look really nice. The paint apps and the sculpt are perfect. I love that so much. They did a really good job with that shield right there with a the little staff kind of, like, burp, um, attached to it. And then the little spearhead looks really nice, too. I love this weapon. The wrapping around the handle, that nice detail just looks really, really cool with that feather attachment right there with the beads and whatnot. It just looks really, really cool. So he can hold that in an eye-gripping hand. So how this works, uh, it is best to attach a gripping hand onto the little handle right there before attaching it to the arm. Uh, and this is just gonna slide off so I can unpeg this like so. And it is easier to just slide that on like that and then line that peg up to get it on there and you can get that on there to hold like so so very very cool uh, i don't know if i'll personally be displaying with him with it i i don't know i, I like it i think it looks cool uh but again that's just not what this particular weapon is for when he's actually full on black panther and whatnot but i still like it for the most part uh i kind of hope at some point it'd be really cool if mezco were to give us like a full-on ceremonial Black Panther, whatnot, with the, with the, the whole body pain, and you can get soft goods loincloth and whatnot. I think that would be rad. Then give him these weapons. I think that would be really cool. I'm surprised Marvel Legends haven't given us that yet, but either way. So we also do get one of my favorite accessories that I've always talked about is the stand. I love Mezco stands. I think this just came out really, really cool. I love the logo. The print on that just looks gorgeous uh, with the articulated arm and whatnot. You can't get some of those aerial poses, especially for a character like Black Panther. So we do got interchangeable heads here. Uh, we can also, of course, get the uh, standard uh, Black Panther head, which getting this figure in hand, I have come to really appreciate the design of that even more just because I'm seeing it more close up and whatnot. And you really can see how it has that like cat-like features of what and whatnot uh, sculpted around a, a human's face to really give it that actual like Black Panther look instead of not just the helmet that looks cool, but it actually has some design of, of like an actual Black Panther, which is insane. And I, I respect to the artists who designed that. I think they did such a good job, and I think Mezco killed it with that. Uh, I don't know if the eyes are too big. I know some people complain about the eyes being a little too big. I personally don't think so. I don't mind it at all. I think it looks really, really nice, and the paint ash just came out really, really clean in that. We also do get an unmasked head, a Chad Bozeman head, which looks really good in my opinion. Uh, I love it. I know some people don't think it looks like him at all. I think it's ridiculous to be honest with you. It does it doesn't look like it doesn't look like freaking Peter Parker or you know what I mean? It doesn't look like Chris Tucker, you know what I mean? It looks it's pretty good. I think some people get a little too uh, carried away when it comes to stuff like that. I, I think it looks pretty good for the most part. Um, it looks enough like him in my opinion. So how the heads change out so a simple ball peg like so, and you can pop that on there, and I think that looks rad. I think it looks really, really cool. Um, really excited to have this guy again, just because simply I don't have another Black Panther, so this is a good excuse for me to get a Black Panther, so very, very nice. Alright, so now let's take a look at the articulation. Uh, since this is a more agile character, let's see what Mezco has done for us here. Uh, the head is on a ball joint, so it does roll around like so, does turn left and right. Looks up that much, down that much, pivot side to side, so that's really good. Arms can go all the way up that far, down, up and out, very nice, so that's a lot of good motion right up in there. We also do get a butterfly joint in the shoulder like so, so that goes back and forth, so that's really cool. Rotation in the bicep, double double jointed elbow, which works been far past 90, which is pretty decent for the most part. Uh, you still can't get the whole... Uh, Wakanda forever thing with arms crossed. Uh, it just doesn't happen. I wish we could do stuff like that, especially for characters like Wonder Woman. That was one of the things I complained about her. You couldn't do the whole thing across the chest and whatnot. We can't do it with him either, sadly, but uh, I guess it is what it is and whatnot. So hopefully Mezco uh, fixes stuff like that because I know a lot of people want these guys to be a lot more articulated. I, I personally don't really lean toward that either way, but I could understand why some people want more out of that. So for those people, I hope it happens for them. We also get rotation at the wrist as well as a hinge at the wrist. We get a double ball peg that's in the midsection, goes in up and into the chest area and then into his crotch area. So that rolls around like so, pivot side to side, swivels left and right, crunches forward about that much, which is decent back about that far which is okay uh, we got hip joints that kick forward about that far 
back, not so much. We got the splits about that far, rotation in the upper thigh. We got a double, double jointed knee. Could almost kick himself in the butt, and you probably could if you really wanted to. Uh, we got a ball joint at the ankle, so that rolls around, does turn left and right, and a decent ankle rocker. So overall, I think this is a pretty cool figure. It's not perfect by any means, uh, and it's not mind blowing by any means either. It's a good, it's a good figure uh, for what we get here. I kind of feel like it's missing a little something. I'm not sure what it is, but I still do love what we get here. It's a beautiful sculpt, decent articulation, uh, and I really like that Chadwick Boseman head. I think it's really really nice. So overall, I think it's definitely a must get. So for a quick size comparison. Here he is standing next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool figure, as well as a DCUC Batman figure. And for your Mezco comparison, here he is standing next to the 112 Collective Catwoman and Captain America figures. And just for fun, here he is standing next to a little Lego Bat-Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of the Mezco 112 Collective Black Panther. Now overall, I really do think this is a good figure. It's just not a great one. I really feel like it's missing something and I can't explain exactly what it is. It just doesn't have that wow factor that I'm used to with a Mezco figure. Now it does have some great things like the sculpt is amazing and the soft goods are very well done. All the accessories are nice, it's just that some of them don't really fit this particular version of Black Panther, which is a little weird and a little disappointing. But still, with those things, he is a really decent piece, and I think he would be a great addition to your Mezco collection. So I give him a rating of... 3.5 Bat Bombs? Out of 5. And if you're on Facebook, head over to my group, the Mezco 112 Collective Collectors, for all kinds of Mezco goodness. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.